What's up guys, this is Billy at Fisherman's Landing Tackle Shop doing another Tackle Tip Thursday for the searcher. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to do another kind of dropper loop. Uh, everyone's got their preferred way to do it, but this is just a, another cool way if you guys want to mix it up a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously really good for uh, fishing yellowtail at Guadalupe, uh, also sea bass fishing and really anything you do with a dropper loop. So, um, you know, peel off a good amount of line. It, it, it's up to you, but I mean, a lot of times on the Guadalupe trips for yellowtail, they like a bigger loop or whatever. So just, you know, about that much. And then you're just gonna do like a three or four turn surgeon's uh, loop. So, you know, just double it up, pull it through. One, two, three, Four, I'm gonna cinch it down nice and even. Okay, so there's your there's your big loop here. So you just got a big loop at the end of your line, and then you know pull that nice and tight, and then obviously trim your tag end. And then what you want to do, I'll pick that up, don't worry. Um, the whole point to this is to cut the uh, loop, but cut it unevenly. So the shorter end is going to go to your hook, and the longer end is going to go to your weight. So we'll cut it, let's say, you know, right there. Now, as you can see, you got one short end right here and then one long end right there so when uh, you know your weights on the bottom this is out and your mackerel or your squid or whatever it's gonna be swimming free and this surgeon loop is super strong um, and uh, it's just a really good way to you know do your dropper loop even though obviously it's not a loop anymore so just something else to think about. Um, that's going to do it for this week's Tackle Tip Thursday. Have a good one.